we do have a new case with uh, Ernest? Interesting. Let's see what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ernest is having a very bad day. He's implicated in a serious crime on his first day at Grass and Heller University. Okay. So he's a victim that we need to help. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Hello, Cheryl. Oh, there you are, Pinstripes. I was beginning to wonder what had happened to you. Miss Slater asked me to stop off on my way in, way in and buy some things for her. Tea, of course, this fashion magazine, and a snack for later on today. Being the dog's body again, eh? Isn't Miss Slater here yet herself? She's gone out already. She said she'd be back late. Oh, what a pity. She left a message for you, though. Do you want to hear it? Of course. Gosh, this sounds awfully important. My palms are starting to sweat. Alright then, if you're sure you're ready. Ahem. Ernest. While I'm gone, tidy up. Is that it? Afraid so. Not quite what you were expecting, eh? I feel your pain. Oh no, it's quite alright. I had a suspicion I might say that. So, where shall I start, I wonder? It's rough being the underdog, eh? Having to tidy up after your boss because she's so terrible at it. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Cheryl. She's not terrible at tidying at all. No, I say she is. She tidies when she wants to tidy, but when she doesn't want to tidy, she doesn't. So just being true to herself. That's more being, pro being a procrastinator and lazy. She's just being true to her selfishness, you mean. She never wanted to tidy in her life. Hello, Nix, how have you been? So, Muggins has to do it. Well, that last part may be true. Anyway, I can't read Nix. Please, settle down there. Anyway, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, Pinstripes. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, what is it? What are you doing? Why do you work here as Cat's assistant? She doesn't even pay you, does she? <coughs> no, she doesn't. I work here because I owe Miss Layton a debt of gratitude. It must be a big one. What happened? Oh, so in this case, this is like a case per se. Hey, Nix. But more like we are going back to the past with a... What's the name? What's the... Name? A flashback, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll do the transition of, of a flashback, who knows. It must be a big one, what happened? It was when when I... Nix, please. It was when I met her for the very first time. I'm listening. And I can't see Nix, please. Go settle down there. There, thank you, baby. I was being investigated by Scotland Yard. Investigated? You? Come on! Do you think I was turned into a dog yesterday? <coughs> he says that, but we don't even know if he actually was turned into a dog. The importance of being earnest. Okay, I get it. Inspector Hastings had summoned me to his office. There had been a theft, you see, and I was a prime suspect. Ernest Greaves, you did it, didn't you? It, it wasn't me. I'm innocent, Inspector, I swear. Don't give me that, sunshine. I know it was you who broke into Dr. Ohm's laboratory. I uh, don't know if that's supposed to be Ohm's or his name is something else. And nicked his research papers. Admit it. Broke into... No, no, I didn't. There's been some terrible misunderstanding. So you're still gonna deny it, are you? They are witnesses, you know. You are seeing Zeke in there. One more item do you think I need to put you away, eh? Come clean, sunshine, or things are gonna get ugly. But... But I've only just started 
grass in Heller University. Why would a fresher like me... Oh, grass in Heller University. Okay, um, I'm almost positive that intro wasn't quite as dramatic as that, it's probably embellishing the truth a little bit, but oh, this is flashback. So, what do you think you're doing barging here when I'm interviewing a suspect? I can't believe you brought this poor man here to Scotland Yard. You what? You can't accuse people without carrying out a proper investigation first. It sounds like the only evidence you have is circum circumstantial. That he was at the scene. Who are you, you cheeky little so-and-so? Oh, I am sorry. I'm Catriel. Catriel Layton. Well, I don't care for the Queens of Sheba. You don't come down here to start interfering in police business. If you got a complaint about the way we do things, you follow proper procedure and solve this puzzle. What? Was a correlation? <laughs> caught, for, caught for speeding. Okay, I get the name. Let's see. The There is a line of five cars driving along the road, and they're all breaking the speed limit. The next day, the five drivers go to the police station, but only four of them are charged with speeding. Which car was the one that was has been driven by the person was not charged. Hmm. A lot of boring math later. I want to say it's car five. Mostly because if because he was the last one, either a, he was technically going slower than the other, so he didn't overtake them or something like that. Maybe. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles are made for solving. Might it's not gonna be this at all, but let's see. You did it? There was a patrol car chasing the speeding drivers from behind. Oh. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Caught for speeding. You cracked it? Well, that's a turn up for the books. Any puzzle solved, that's my motto. Unlike Scotland Yard, which seems to be in to be any blame absolved. Go oh, blimey. Inspector Racing, sorry to barge in, sir, but it's nearly time. Oh yes, of course. I've got an appointment at Grass and Heller. Thanks for reminding me, Constable. Right, Greaves. It looks like you're off the hook for now. But you're still at the top of my list, Sunshine. And as soon as I get more evidence... Oh no, please! Come on then, PCBT. Or PCB, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Let's get over to the university. Yes, sir. You're um, free to go then, sir. Uh, how can I make him believe me? I didn't do it. Well, they've gone out and they said you're free to go too. So I don't get out. So I don't get out of here. Oh well. Um, unless you'd like to stay. Oh golly, no. Then I suggest we leave now before the inspector comes back. Yes. And that's how we, how we were thrust, thrust together. How the heavens conspired to make us meet. She was like a goddess of destiny in my eyes then. Oh, I can explore here, nice. Lights, please. Yeah, all the checks the lights, the clock too. Now this one here is a puzzle. Hmm, there's something strange about this light. Ah, a hidden puzzle. I thought it didn't look quite right. One twenty-five spaceship SOS two. Oh, it's the same as the other one. There's a spaceship that's out of fuel and is drifting in space. You need to to get all the nearby energy orbs to do, to sorry to orbs to in order to power the engines again. 
You can move the orbs horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, either to fuse it, the orbs or refuel the or to refuel the spaceship. Get them all the spaceship either in one hate fuse orb delivery or several small ones. You can get right as asteroids, however. Yeah, okay. Wait. Okay, so no. Okay, maybe like this, this, this. Here. Hmm. Oh wait. No! That now stop out! Ah, darn it. No, I I think I messed up. I think I messed up. Okay. I'll be back when I figure out this puzzle. Yeah, this is a very simple one. The general idea is you need to get the ones that are more in close to the asteroids to the one that aren't. Then you can put everything together. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it. You breathed the life into the spaceship once more. It's time to set a course for entire territory beyond the stars. Okay, time to get lost and lose all, all fuel. Again. I did it! I feel much better now. Okay... Uh, just making sure... Oh, Yeah, and we gotta found everything. Let's get out of here. Um, thank you for having me before, I mean. I'm Ernest. Ernest Greaves. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Ernest. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Layton. I must say, it's jolly good of you to believe me. That I'm not a thief, I mean. Oh no, I just couldn't abide with that loudmouth inspector's sloppy detective work, that's all. Oh. I wouldn't like to say if you did or not. I wouldn't like to say if you did it or not. But but I didn't do it. If that's the case. Oh, sorry, if that's the case about the stolen research papers, isn't it? Oh, it's that case. What? No wait. Is that case about the yeah, okay. The stolen research papers from the University of Grass and Heller University oh, from the professor. From the University of Grass and Heller University. Jesus, I'm bad today. Yes, that's right. Somehow I seem to be the suspect. But you didn't do it, honestly? No, honestly, I didn't. Please, you have to believe me. Well, Ernest, if that is your real name. <laughs> oh, obvious obvious reference to old cop movies and all the like. Or detective movies. You don't look like a thief. Or the sort of person who tried to deceive others. I'm not. I really haven't done anything wrong. So you're a student at the university, are you? Yes, I've only just enrolled though. But somehow I've already managed to get myself in an awful fix. I always seem to have the most disastrous, disastrous luck. Only this morning I fell down a drain in the street and got bitten by a dog. Jesus! I see. A walking calamity, you might say. <sighs> well, your luck may have changed. I intend to go to Grass and Hell today anyway. If you come along with me, I can do what I wa was I planning. Was I ugh. If you come along with me, I can do what I was planning there and prove your innocence en passant. En passant? Oh, oui, en passant. I have no idea what that word means, but okay. Unless you'd rather I don't interfere. Oh no, I mean, please do interfere. That's, uh, that is, if you really think you can prove it. Of course, right then, let's go. Now? Yes, yes, alright then. 
Miss Slater made it seem like, a, like proving my innocence would be as easy as falling off a log. So I went along with her, hoping desperately that she was right. Okay, so she spoke twice, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, because their techly isn't... Uh, Cheryl isn't here, they might as well speak twice. Got it. Uh, let me just check everything here to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, nice. Thank you. You probably have a puzzle. No, you just want to talk. Dear me, I wonder what's afoot. I just saw Inspector Hastings rushing off somewhere. Do you know the Inspector? What sort of man is he? Oh well, I don't know what I've heard, of course. They say he's a very, very passionate about his job, and that he can be rather overbearing at times. But this is because he can't abide lawbreaking of any sort. Haha, <laughs> yes. Overbearing fits the bill rather well in this case. But I haven't broken the laws, though. I've also heard that he can be a little slow sometimes. And I've also heard, that it's just between you and me, that at home, his wife fools the roost, as it were. Oh, listen to me, I don't like to gossip, you know. But when people ask, still don't tell anyone about anyone I told you, will you? Ha ha ha! PC beat, maybe? Okay, he has a puzzle. Hello, 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 madame! Don't suppose you've lost a puzzle? We've had one be added to lost property, but not been able to solve it. We don't know whose it is. I see. Well, I could probably solve it for you if you want, if that would help. Oh, really? That would be most helpful. Most helpful indeed. Imperfect triangle. Okay. Here we have a board made up of lots of smaller regular triangles. If you cut the board in two, you can put the two pieces together to make one big regular triangle. Select the, jo the joints between the triangles to draw a line, showing where to cut. You are not allowed to flip either of the pieces over. Wait, so like this? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, no. And I pre oh, okay, 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 I got it, I got it. A few inches later... Let's see if this is how it works. Yeah, because it looks like a jigsaw puzzle, doesn't it? This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. Nice. Yeah, like I said, it was like a jigsaw puzzle. You cut apart and then add it. Yeah, I would be in the beginning, I was making it way more complicated than it should have been. Five thousand to the bottom right, yeah. There you go. Solved. Well, thank you, madame. Thank you kindly. Let's see. Ah, this looks like a name, I think. I'll get in touch with the person concerned and from the... We have their puzzle here at the yard. Most kind of you to help. Not at all. It's a public duty to help the police when they can, after all. I don't know why, but that reminds me a lot of that... Quote-unquote hack where you can supposedly make infinite chocolates or you can... Quote-unquote... Cut a piece of chocolate in a certain way that when you make it, it seems like you... Even if when you took a piece out, it still has the same number or something like that. Mm, what's the best way to the university from here? Oh, I can show you. Just follow me. I say, will this be our first time to visit Grass and Hell or Miss, Miss Layton? No, I used to go there often as a child, but it's been a rather long time. And I haven't been, been from here before. I'm not sure what the best way is. Really? Well, don't worry, we'll be there in a jiffy. Okay, so I need to use a bike. But first things first... Hint coins. Aha! Hint coins. Nice! I don't think there's more, yeah, no. There is a three in each area, and let's see what you have to say. If I'm not very mistaken, 
and I'm not very mistaken very often, that who just went past was a Steam Inspector Hastings. And if I'm not mistaken, as you know, if I'm not, I'm not often mistaken, he was off to investigate something. Old Dougie smells the distinct stink of a case. In which case, I may have the story for the morning paper. Oh no, a reporter! Gosh, what's all over the news, Miss Layton? My Facebook could be at the front page of every paper in London. Don't worry, Ernest. It would never make a front page news. Page 3 at best. <laughs> page 3? I, I don't have the figure for that. Oh, that's funny, actually. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry, I need to forget I need to get the bike. <laughs> 